Diana from So Very Crafty, and we are here today to make this terrific little Sherpa-lined beanie. And for those of you that follow So Very Crafty, you will remember that my last project was a Sherpa-lined neck warmer, and I decided to make this terrific little beanie to go with it. And it is super simple sewing project that anybody with beginner sewing skills can make. It is a fun little project to make, it's functional, and it goes perfect with that little neck warmer that we made last time. I love this little project, and it takes just a few minutes to make, and it comes out perfect every time. So I hope you enjoy this project today, and if you do, as usual, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ding that bell for notifications so that you can get future So Very Crafty videos in your inbox. And if you want more sewing and crafting tutorials, let's head over to the website at www.soverycrafty.com for loads of more video, uh, tutorials that you don't see here on the YouTube channel. So for now, we are going to make this little beanie and in just a few minutes that anybody can make. So let's get started on this project. What are you going to need? Well, the first thing you're going to need is this pattern. And it's free, and I will link this pattern down at the bottom of the uh, description section of this video so everybody can have it. You just cut it out. And uh, then you're going to cut out some fabrics. You're going to do two fabrics for this project. You're going to use an outer fabric and a lining fabric. Now, I used a flannel fabric for my outer fabric to match my flannel and Sherpa neck warmer. And then I used some Sherpa fabric for my lining. But you could use fleece for this. It's nice and stretchy, and you could use it for both the lining and the outer fabric if you like. Uh, it's completely up to you, but I really like this nice warm Sherpa for this project. Now, you are going to cut out on the fold two pieces of the flannel and two pieces of the Sherpa. And when you open these up, they are going to look like this. And you're going to have four pieces that look exactly the same. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to stitch what I call the short curves, which are these curves in the middle, together using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And we're just going to go from the top down to the side. I'm going to add a couple of pins here. If you're a more advanced sewist, you won't need to add any pins because this is just a short little seam. And we're going to do that for all of our short corners and we're placing these right sides together. And we're going to do that for the outer flannel fabric and for the lining Sherpa fabric. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch using a 3 8 inch seam allowance from the top to the side on these short curves and I'm going to be right back. I'm not going to show this on the video because it's just a straight line right across the short, what I call the short curve and then I'll be right back. 
Now, the one thing that I forgot to tell you when I cut out the Sherpa is I made sure that the pattern piece, I cut out three inches longer on the bottom of the Sherpa than I did on the outer fabric. And you'll see why in a few minutes. So just make sure when you cut out your pattern that you cut out three inches longer on the bottom of the Sherpa than you did on the outer fabric. Now, when the short curves are stitched, you will see that they start to form the crown of our beanie. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to place our pieces right sides together, matching our center seams. And I'm just going to pin. And this is going to create what I call the long curve. And if you read the companion po blog post to this project, you will see me refer to this as the long curve and the others as the short curve. And we're just going to pin this together. And again, if you are a more advanced sewist, you don't really need to pin this because it stays together pretty easily. And you can just stitch it right up. And we're going to do the same thing for the Sherpa. And I will say that the Sherpa is a little fidgety to stitch, but it's all good in the end. And I'm just going to add a couple of pins here. And then we are going to head over to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch the long curves all the way around, except on the Sherpa. On the Sherpa, we are going to stitch the long curve, but we are going to leave an opening here so that we can turn our beanie right sides out in a later step. So let's head over to the sewing machine and let's stitch our long curves. Now here we are at the sewing machine and I have my outer fabric and my lining fabric and I'm just going to stitch this long curve all the way around using my 3 8 inch seam allowance. And that's just a nice gentle curve, so it shouldn't be a problem for you to stitch that. And I'm going to do the same thing on the Sherpa, and then we're going to head over to the workstation and move on to our next step. Okay, now we have two beanies, one with an opening on the side, and now we're just going to combine these two beanies together. 
I'm going to turn the outer beanie right sides out and I'm going to place my outer beanie inside of my Sherpa beanie and I'm going to match up these side seams. And I'm going to use some Wonder Clips here because it's a little bulky. But you could use pins if you like. Now even though the Sherpa beanie is longer than the outer beanie, I still want to line up these bottom raw edges and you will see the reason why when we're finished. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I am going to stitch all the way around this beanie and we're gonna come back and finish up this project. So here we are back at the sewing machine and I have taken off my sewing table from my machine so that I have my free arm available because it's going to be a lot easier for me to stitch with my free arm since I'm stitching all the way around this project. And again, I'm using a 3 8 inch seam allowance here. And that's all there is to stitching the outer beanie to the lining beanie. So let's get over to our workstation and finish up this project. So here we are back at the workstation and we are going to reach into our opening that we've left in the lining and we're going to pull out our outer beanie. And as you can see, we've got these two beanies together. Now, what we would normally do is we would close this opening using ladder stitch. You could use your machine if you want because it's really not going to be seen. Uh, I'm not going to do that on the video. There are loads of videos uh, showing you how to do ladder stitch, and I've shown you a time or two on uh, here on So Very Crafty how to do ladder stitch, but we're not going to do that for now. We're just going to leave this so that we can finish up our project. And what we're going to do is we are going to stuff our Sherpa into our beanie, into our outer beanie. And you will see then that the Sherpa is longer than the outer beanie, which is what we want. And you can either leave it like this, depending on the size of your head, or what I did was I folded mine up and made a cuff out of it. And that's it. That's all there is to making this flannel and Sherpa beanie. So simple, anybody can make this project and it just takes a few minutes to do. Now, of course, I have two of them. 
both of them have the cuff turned under. I have kind of a small head, so it works for me. But you can leave it not turned under and still have the Sherpa peeking out underneath the bottom of your beanie so it looks uh, a little more fancy. And that's all there is to this project. I hope you enjoyed it today. It's a fun one. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ding that bell for notifications. And if you want the pictorial tutorial of this project, head over to my website at www.soverycrafty.com and you will see this step by step and download the pattern at the bottom of the uh, description section of this video and you will be ready to go. A little Sherpa, a little flannel, and that's all you need. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little project. It goes great with the uh, neck warmer that we made. And um, from this, I will see you all next time. Bye.